Good morning, my family in Christ. As we continue meditating on Psalm 23, we look at verse 2a. He causes me to lie down in pastures of green grass. The King James Version says, He making me to lie down in green pastures. The word of God to the people of God. Philip Keller wrote, and I quote, Sheep do not lie down easily and will not unless four conditions are met. Because they are timid, they will not lie down if they are afraid. Because they are social animals, they will not lie down if there is friction among the sheep. If flies or parasites trouble them, they will not lie down. And finally, if sheep are anxious about food or hungry, they will not lie down. Rest comes because the shepherd has dealt with fear, friction, flies, and famine. End of quote. Today, we may be troubled. We may have fear. We may be a distress and anxious. Friction may be in our lives. Hostility, tension, discord. There may be flies all around us, annoying us. And this pandemic is like a fly that is annoying us, that is provoking us. And lastly, we may be starving spiritually. And some of us have no food physically. We have want, there's scarcity. Some of us don't know where the next meal is coming from. This will not cause us to rest. But if we trust in God, our shepherd, he can deal with fear. He can deal with friction, flies, and famine. We need to trust him. He's our shepherd who has the ability to cause us to lie down in green pastures. Cause us to rest, despite what all is going on around us. He's a God who can keep us. So would we put our trust in him today? As believers, would we give him an opportunity to cause us to rest, have peace, and indeed move our worries and our fears? Our shepherd, our God Jehovah, can help us to rest today. Father, we honor you and bless you. We praise you for your ability today, your willingness that we not perish. More importantly, Lord, you are our keeper. You are our helper. You are everything that we need. And as sheep, where we are worrying and fearful, where there's scarcity, where there's friction among us, among family members, among workers, among church members, where there are challenges in our lives, personally, disease, sickness, anxiety, oh, there's trouble. And so we are up, we are worried, and that even brings sickness among us. But you promise to give your beloved sleep. You promise to give us rest. Help us to trust in you today. We give you thanks today and praise because of your ability to do this. We bring those who lead the nations, touch now even our prime minister and all of parliament. We bring the medical professionals, we bring law enforcement, we bring service industry, we bring all areas of society today. We pray that we will trust in you today and our nation will honor you, oh God. We will give thanks, we will give praise, we will give opportunity for the shepherd to lead us today, to guide us, and we give you honor. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for families everywhere today. We pray for the body of Christ. We may serve you today. 
Ah, God, we may honor you today in all that we say, in all that we do, so that you may direct our path. We are shepherd. We are your sheep. Thank you for honoring us today with your presence. We give you praise. We ask this in Jesus' name and for our sin. Amen. God bless you and keep you today as you allow the shepherd, God himself, to keep us, to deal with fear in our lives, to deal with friction, flies, and indeed farming. He's able. Give him an opportunity. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord.